It's Tuesday. Good morning, everyone. Your girl is tired this morning. I am so tired. But I'm going to a nail appointment. Blinded. Hang on. Ray Benz to the rescue. That is so much better. Anyway, I'm going to get my nails done this morning. I have a fluffy jumper on because the temperature have reduced guys and it's not cool it's not not cool it's so funny because I'm gonna be wearing a jumper today and then in like two days time I'm gonna be wearing a bikini hopefully <laughs> check the weather in Portugal and it's like 27 degrees so I am living for it sorry guys this camera is doing strange things I have it mounted in the oddest position possible lost one here I'm one here so that's not too bad considering <laughs> I moved to kitchen I moved a kitchen guys yeah I am not joking the other day we went to Lucan and we picked up our kitchen and the lady there was so amazing the girl that we bought it off it was on adverts we just saw a kitchen and it was cream or it was white actually sorry and it was on adverts and I was like well, that's the one I want so let's get it and then I went over and the lady was so nice her name is Liz and she sold us the kitchen for 50 euro 50 euro 50 euro for a kitchen I can't believe it I was gonna get a brand new kitchen in Seoul installed and it was coming to a thousand euro and you know I was happy enough to pay that but the thing with a kitchen is when you install it that's it that's its home like that's where it stays you can take it out obviously and put it into a different area but it's not exactly gonna fit the same in the new area does that make sense so John and I are planning on staying in the apartment for the next I don't know a couple of years maybe but it's not our forever home it's just our kind of like starting home and just a home for us to live together right now a lot of people are confused over this situation it is not a rented accommodation so generally when you rent in Ireland you get a home or an apartment or whatever and you get it fully furnished it has to be fully furnished. oh my god guys my battery's dying I'm gonna have to touch on that subject later I'm back guys I am back I got my nails done can we just deal with these bad boys look at them why well, won't it focus on them focus on them not on me on my nails there you go aren't they so pretty I'm so happy with them anyway I've just filmed five videos five videos and I'm out of breath and I'm really tired I'm so tired so I'm just downstairs editing currently because I have to go over tonight to the apartment. We are fitting the kitchen actually. Do you know what, I'm gonna sit down here for a second. I'm just gonna sit down here and don't talk to you. Um, yeah, we're just finished, finished with our kitchen. I think I explained that this morning. We got the kitchen in Lucan, delighted with it. Secondhand kitchen, super happy. It's so clean. The lady who had the kitchen kept it in tip top condition. It has little gems on the drawers like the handles or gems and she said she got them in woodies for like eight euro or something so I was delighted with that we got our cooker and our fridge freezer because we're only going to get like a little fridge there's a hair on my mouth and then have like a little freezer in it and I was like how am I supposed to fit all my frozen like fruit and my frozen stuff like your mince meat and your chicken and stuff into a tiny little fridge freezer but we're just gonna have to like deal with it but we have a proper big fridge freezer now so I'm so delira I'm really really happy fit in the whole kitchen it needs to be hung so one of John's really really good friends Colin he does like kitchen fittings or he's done that in the past so he's coming over tonight to fit the kitchen because I laid it out in my little jigsaw I was like this goes here there here and we laid it all out so what is going to happen is Colin and John are going to fit it onto the wall because it obviously needs to be screwed onto the wall so that it stays intact I cleaned out all the units yesterday all the green and dirt and everything off them and I don't know if I'm alone <laughs> I'm probably not but there's something like really 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 gross about somebody else's dirt even though it's just like grease and stuff like and it's like dirt and dust and cobwebs but my dirt and John's dirt you know like when you're cleaning up like the bathroom or when you're cleaning up 
the dirt that we've made and the apartment and stuff like from construction or if we spilled anything I don't mind cleaning that up but when I'm cleaning up someone else's dirt I get really grossed out <laughs> so I was like with my marigolds on and I had so much bleach and disinfectant and so flora and I was just like spraying the whole place down and like cleaning it off I was just really gone ham with the cleaning so that's what I was trying to say earlier on it's owned by John's family and we, we were so kindly given it given the apartment so now we're doing it up ourselves and that's where all the money is going into because it's obviously our kind of project but normally in Ireland if you are renting somewhere it'll come fully furnished you'll have a kitchen in it it will have like a couch and a sitting room you might need to put a tv in yourself um it will have a bed it will have everything but this is not a rented accommodation this is our accommodation so that is why it all needs to be done up and people are kind of like really confused on that on my uh my comment section on my vlogs but that's all you kind of need to know I suppose there's nothing really else to say about it what else have I got to talk to you guys about yeah I filmed five videos one is going up today and I hope to get another one up by Friday and then the other one will be going up next week because I'm away obviously and I just don't have time I hate saying that between doing the apartment up and filming and everything it's just it's really really hard I'm finding it hard to get time to edit and actually film for you guys so that's what's going to happen the other two videos are sponsored videos one is with Bondi Sands that they sponsored me guys so excited and the other one is with Pretty Little Thing and I love working with Pretty Little Thing so they have to be sent off to my management to be approved and they probably won't get approved till I'm home so that's kind of the main thing I'm home on Tuesday which isn't too bad and I just hope that the weather is nice I was looking it up on the weather app addicted and it's 27 degrees there today and it's sunny it's not like 27 degrees of like you know overcast weather it's 27 degrees of pure sun so I'm really excited about that I don't really care what the weather's like to be honest it's just spending time with John and getting away me and my boo you know away in the sun having the great times and lols and bounce together that's all I really want to be honest so I hope to get all those videos up this week I still have two full days to kind of get everything done and then when we come back we are going hell for leather on the apartment hell for leather we want it done by the beginning of October I want to be in by Halloween well I want to be in by the beginning of October but like I really want to be like like settled in it just coming up to Halloween because you know how important Halloween is to me mm -hmm. just filmed this video which is basically a video talking about all makeup products that I need to stop buying basically and that should be exporting very 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 soon ported in 15 minutes which I'm delighted about it is six o'clock now and usually my videos go up at six so apologies for that guys they will be up or it will be up about half an hour to an hour too late I don't know about you guys but I am starting to really really feel the cold like I am frozen all this whole day like I'm just cold going around the place and it doesn't help that I have cut out jeans on today because I was like why did I wear cut out jeans when I'm feeling cold it's just not a good look it really isn't I filmed a Q&A video today and some of the stuff in it is TMI so I hope to have that up like soon probably when I'm home from Portugal. I don't really do too many TMI kind of videos or I don't really like divulge too much information about my personal life because I'm just very private. Um, it's not like overkill TMI so like you know but there is some things that I've never discussed before on my channel um, which I think might be interesting. I really 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 don't want to have to go down to the apartment tonight but I know that there's just a lot of work to be done and I can't leave it all up to John that's not fair. Like, I don't know what's going on with my lips. I'd be working full days here editing and filming videos and then go off down to the apartment and work really really late at night but you know it's for our home I can't wait to live with him he's really excited to move in and it'll be done in no time and then we'll have loads of time free and wondering what to do with ourselves <laughs> look who it is it's the puppy dog I love a little puppy oh you're the best puppy in the whole world yes it's bedtime peeps and take my makeup off but before I do that I need to try and get into my bed. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Every single time I come into this room, I'm like, I can't get into my bed because there's so much stuff everywhere. But it's true. <laughs> I don't know what I actually do here. Like, this is just a disgrace. I actually can't sleep in my bed tonight. Look at the clothes. <laughs> Somebody did ask me as well. They were like, are you gonna keep your apartment clean? And I was like, yes, of course I will. 
this is just the remnants of, you know, filming. Um, obviously this won't be like this in the apartment. I'm gonna try and clean up. I need to plug in my lamp because I plugged it out to charge my phone. And now I need to plug it back in. Oh man. And I was just talking to John. Oh, there we go. I was just talking to John. And he's home from the apartment. And he hooked up the kitchen. The kitchen's all like stuck together and all ready to like be like inhabited. And he put the countertops on. <laughs> I'm so excited. And they cut everything to shape. Really excited. What is going on? This makeup is like falling off my face. I need to actually remove it. So I'm going to remove it now and then clean up the bed and I will do my skincare routine for you guys because I haven't done that in a while like my nighttime skincare routine Thankfully, I have a much cleaner, cleaner bedroom right now. And I'm just gonna do my skincare routine. I just took off my makeup. I used the cleansing balm from, who's it from? Oh my God, Pixie. I used that to take off my makeup. Oh guys, your girl is tired. I have such dark circles right now. I'm gonna take this new Pixie Glow Tonic. This is the Glycolic Acid Exfoliator Tonic. That's it there. I don't know if I showed this in a video before. I think I showed you it in the haul. So I'm gonna try it. I haven't used it yet. And I'm just gonna put a bit onto a cotton round. Squirt it onto it. Maybe that's enough. And this will hopefully take off the rest of my makeup. Sometimes I find like even though I use like a double cleanse, that not all of my makeup comes off or I miss spots. Like over my eyebrow here, I definitely miss that. Look, see? <laughs> you just never can take off enough makeup. I'm probably doing this in the bathroom but I'm comfortable doing it in my bedroom. I'll just take off whatever was around my brows as well. How many steps at the moment for my skincare? Like umpteen amount of steps, like probably a million steps at the moment because every time I get new skincare I'm like ooh let's try this and ooh let's try that. So I was gonna do a skincare mask. This is the glow mud mask with ginseng. Actually do you know what? I will. I'll do it. Let's do that. So my skin is cleansed. This is a 15 minute face mask. Hmm, it's like a glam glow mask. Okay, let's just apply this on to the face. I'm gonna blend this out with my fingers because they're clean obviously because I just washed my face. Now I'm gonna have to do it again. Actually, let's just put this. My daddy's having like a disco <laughs> in the bathroom. I can hear him in the shower and he's singing along to music. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what a man. What a man. Using a makeup brush to do this would be better. And also, using a mirror to apply it would be great. Because I'm actually looking in the viewfinder of my camera to do this. It's going to be a messy, sloppy mask. It smells incredible. It's been a long time since I've done a mud mask. I usually do peel-off masks. Because they're just so easy and clean and simple. Well, let's give our skin a bit of a detox, detoxing mask, and hair. Look at that out of the way. Guys, tell me I'm beautiful. Tell me I'm beautiful. Okay, I've had this mask on for like 15 minutes, maybe even longer. And it's not like completely fully dry or drying. Oh wait, no, maybe it is. It just doesn't get any lighter. It just stays dark. So I think I'm going to wash it off. Yeah, it's a little bit, still a little bit moist. I'm going to wash it off anyway, guys. And we'll see what the skin underneath is looking like. Well, my skin feels amazeballs after that mask. So now I'm going to apply this Rose Blend Nourishing Face Oil. I know this is probably not the best thing to be putting on oily skin, but I don't care because it's really nourishing to my skin. So I just like literally apply a whole thing of like a whole 
drop of it and I just kind of mix it into my skin. I would feel like the more oil that's in your skin, the less oil my skin actually produces. I'm sure that makes sense because my skin notices that there's oils present. So it doesn't have to produce that many oils and also I'm going to sleep so it doesn't matter how oily my skin is. I would never do this during the day. And then I'm just gonna take my moisturizer. This is my day cream. I should be using a night cream, but I'm out of my Nivea night cream. So I'm just going to take this one that I have from China and that I've been using since China. And I love it. I actually bought two of these. And this is my second one. And that's how much I loved it. And yeah, I'm just gonna repurchase my Nivea night cream when I'm in Tesco's next because it's all out. And I had the, what are they called? The Acura, Acura? They're from Lidl. I had those day and night moisturizers as well. I love them, but I leave them in John's because they're no moisturizing products in his house. So I just leave them out there. But they are really, really good for the price. Like I think that they're amazing. They're like three or four euro each and maybe even less. I just think that they make my skin look beautiful. So I'm actually really happy with that face mask. I'm glad I tried it. The scent of rose in this, ugh, it does not appeal to me. I love the product. I love the way it makes my skin really soft, but I do not like the scent of oil at, or scent of oil, scent of rose at oil. At oil? Oh my God, why can't I speak English? I do not like the scent of rose at all. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, guys, I am going to love you's and leave you's. It's time for me to part ways. It's time for me to hit the hay. I love you's, guys, so much. I hope you had a wonderful Tuesday. Let's have a very exciting Wednesday as well. And I'll talk to you in the morning. Mwah. Love you. Night, night. Oh, hi, how are you? I'm just back again. I just realised I forgot to tell you that. Oh, my God, I picked up the wrong thing. Huh? No. I think I'm all out of my eye cream. I was like, where is my eye cream? I never showed them me putting my eye cream on and now there's possibly a reason. I don't think I have any eye cream. That's really upsetting. No wonder my eyes look so dehydrated. I have Viviscal, just for your hair. This is my bedside locker, lads. It's just full to the brim of things that I don't necessarily need, like Lemsips for some reason. I have teeth whitening strips. Oh, there's a moisturizer in there from Pennies. What else have I got? A glasses case. Oh, a blotting sheet is stuck to that. Wow, girl, you really need to clean out your bedside locker. There is not one helpful thing in there. Where is my eye cream? Right, so that's that. I can't show you the eye cream part of the video because the eye cream has disappeared. <laughs> So just in case you don't think I'm applying eye cream, I normally do, but I haven't done the last week, clearly because there is none. I'm like looking around the floor to see if it fell out or anything, but no, it's not there. I'm actually officially going to leave you now, and we're just going to have to deal with these puffy, beautiful eyes. <laughs> I love yous. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Mwah.